G'day folks and welcome to World of Tanks with the Magnificent Margon. Um, well, as you all know, I have been very, very hard working on getting the Top Gun unlocked on the ESV. I do have it now. I have not had the great match that I was hoping I would have had by now. Um, I don't know why, I just... <sighs> Uh, I got in the right position a few times. I just haven't, haven't done all the things I want to do from the word go, and it's sort of, I don't know. I just, I'm bouncing. I'm doing well. I just haven't been able to get the gun to do the type of damage I was hoping for. I'm still getting, well, I'm getting an average of about two thousand, so I, I shouldn't complain. Two thousand is pretty good. Um, I just thought that it'd give me a bit more of a kick. Um, it hasn't, hasn't. It, it's giving me a better average at times, and I do enjoy it. So, nonetheless, it, it's it's not like what I thought it was going to be. But that's the way it goes sometimes, and you just go with the good and the bad, and sometimes you just got to take your time. Maybe it's the fact that I'm not used to the gun, and I'm used to more of the Tiger II top-tier gun, which is the one I've used for a long time. Now, when you think about it, I've had the Tiger II top gun since I had the Tiger II, because I basically just got that as quick as I could and then I just grind it out with the top gun so it's probably that factor that I'm just used to that gun and not this gun um, despite the fact the, uh, the, the the new gun that I've got has a higher penetration and higher alpha damage it just I don't know certain factors didn't happen but nonetheless this was one of the battles I had just before I actually got the top gun in the E75 um, now Lakeville is one of those maps where we all know most of the heavy tanks generally go to the town here and duke it out. Now, several times when I've been on this map, I've been able to take the top road. Um, and depending upon whether I have support on the lower roads, depends upon certain factors. If I've got good support on the lower roads, I can hold this top road for as long as I need to before I get rushed by a lot of medium tanks normally. Um, and all I do is quite simply I just nudge the T-32 out of my way and say, hey, I'm here, get out of my way. I park my tank up on the angle I am and off goes the slaughter basically. Um, I just... People just do silly things. Track eats that one. And while people, this T29 is doing a silly thing. Oh, that one would, I think that hit the ground then. That's right. Oh, I'm bouncing shots. <laughs> and he finally, I think, just gets the message. I'm not going to hit this guy. I've fired three rounds. He's hit me three times. And yeah. Um, probably the most disappointing thing with the top gun on the E75 um, is probably its reload like oh, one hit point. Come on. Are you serious? I have to waste a shell on one hit point? Uh, I think I was actually screaming at this point. Okay, come on. It's not worth me shooting this one. Uh, who cares? Fine. So now I move up a little bit further. Angle for the um, T54. I don't really need to. That was a terrible place shot. Angle for the IS. Angle, angle. Oh, hit my cup holder. Well done. I got a little bit little bit out of position, a little bit flustered then, and gave him the best opportunity to hit me. Now, I can't get any shots on this guy. My view range finder thing has come online again. Oh, bounce that one. That was good. Now, this IS is using his, his height to his advantage, which is good. He, hey, take any advantage you can. I can't get anything on him. So, I've got to rely on my, the rest of my team to do a fantastic job now. And that's that's the way I look at it. They've got to do the fantastic job. I just remember the battle that I have to bring. Oh, look at that. Nice. I was just thinking then, I, I had a battle a few days ago that I should dig out. Um, it was on Karami. Now, Karami, I hate. It is the curse map uh, to me, and I just can't get it. But this one was a really good one. It only happened a few days ago. I have to dig that one out. I might, I might do. I'm going to do that as, uh, on the next battle. I'm going to quickly, quickly go around and try and find that one for you guys. Um, it was a great match. Um, I I took a gamble and a risk at the end of that battle 
to try and um, to save it and it worked in our favour um, in a big way and it was a well earned victory I can't get this guy there's a block in the way but look at this this is how you angle it and that, that's what you need to do when you're playing in these tanks I want to detract him you've really got to it, it, it's it's like the old theory of the E100 they um they recommend you angle your tank to what you're meant to do for the angling like I've done here I've slightly angled against the M103 so I can go hold down against him and just show him nothing but my turret and basically I f turn my turret to shoot at him and then I come back again to the position where I'm not quite straight on to him so he's not getting very good angles and I'm getting ricochet points which is giving me a stronger advantage at knocking this guy out oh, that was a bounce um, and they're the things you've got to do when you're playing this game um, I, I regularly see people come out with their E75s come out with their T29s straight on or their ISs Instigate, you're in a very good, strong tank. Why are you doing something like that? Now at the moment, I can take a gamble and do something like that. Reset for big reset points. Harlequin comes around his leopard. He hasn't had a lot of success in leopard by the time. And there's 8.8 over there. And, oh, get out of there. Get out of there, Harlequin. Get away from the 8.8. I'll try and cover for you. No, I don't know where that went. Oh, I bounced him. So, and there's that, there's that beautiful angling I keep telling you guys about it. It's as simple as that. You just, it's all about being simple. Um, the simpler you keep it, um, the better it is. Um, and if you just do the simple little things, like side scraping with an IS, um, you can do things like that very well. Um, you've also got, um, brain's not working um, it, it's all a matter of those sort of things if you do those correct things oh that's right him and I declared we're gonna go hunting we're gonna find these guys and kill them um, if you just do those simple things about it, you have a much better game um, every now and then I get caught in a position um, and that's why I did start that um, her what the sec um, section of my world of tank stuff I started that because um, I do have those occasions where I get myself out of position and it could it, it, it well how, what there is more of not when I'm out of position it's more of those situations where I um, I have something that happens in the battle and I do a great job and it falls apart um, boom time is where I just blow stuff up and then I have segments like this where I um, I basically do a little um, show on what to do in the right situations. And if you really look after your tanks and do the right things with your tanks, you have great battles. Like look, two and a half thousand damage is not bad. Harlequin goes in and pretty well finishes up the scumbag. Now <laughs> we were both laughing at this point in time, saying, "Yeah, I bet you you get a shotgun or something like that." So. It's all about how you play your tank, how you can do the right things for your tank, and, and not do stupid things. Um, if, if you do the dumb things, you get yourself killed, and then you get frustrated, and it brings down your, your win score average, and all those other factors that players like myself do look at. I, I regularly look at um, people's win rates to judge how good they really are, and um, try to predict what they're going to be like. So regularly, I um, I do that just for the sake of um, for the sake of basically um, judging players whether they're going to be good support to me or whether they're going to snuff it out. But it doesn't it doesn't mean everything. It's not perfect. Um, there are leniencies in it. So guys, look. Um, that's the E75 bouncing away. Um, I'm gonna go dig out this Karami map one now for you, and um, yeah, I'll show you what that one's like. All 
Alright guys, found it, took a little bit of time, um, but I got there in the end. Um, which one do I want that one? So, Korma, or however you pronounce it, I have no idea sometimes, the names are just beyond me. Um, yeah, as you can see, Jag Panzer 4. I knew it was a, a, a relatively low tier tank for me, well tier 6 isn't too low. Um, Kaz is in his SU-100. Um, so both fixed turret TDs. Now, both him and I at times do struggle. We did communicate quite a fair bit about what we were going to do. Um, I do feel pretty confident though in fixed turret TDs these days. Um, after playing the British ones, which do not have much of a, well the low tier ones, don't have much of an arc of play, when I jump into this German one, it just feels like I've got so much more room to play in when I'm twisting this turret um, or what what is a turret or the gun muzzle area whatever you, whatever it is um, it, it just feels a lot stronger for me um, now I've regularly come over this site and I've had actually a lot of fun since they've redone this map um, the right hand side of the map generally over this side ooh, where's my mouse here it is I haven't been doing too well since they've made this little ridge line here where this SU-100 is to basically shoot over. It just hasn't been working as nicely as for me. As you can see, we're in a pretty good position here. Um, oh, I'm just hitting his gun area. I just need to angle a bit better. Bounced it. That was Kaz was just like, did you just bounce him? And I'm like, yes, yes I did. So. Um, don't bounce his next one though, he goes straight into me and I take another gamble thinking I'll get another quick shot into him and I did and it was good. So the SU um, 12244 has been taken out by Kaz and me. Kaz is still receiving fire though um, so it is quite concerning about what's actually shooting us. We do know there's an M5 Stewart and a KV-1 on our right. No one's really fighting against them. We have got a Comet there. And I just more or less go, well, you know what, I can take my time. We've got a VK-36 sitting behind me. He should be really sitting in front of me. They're a very strong armored tank. I love my VK-36. Um, it's been... It is a very strong tank. So where I'm sitting is probably not the best position to sit in. It's very exposed, very open. Um, I haven't got six cents on this tank, so I don't know what I'm being shot at, but as soon as I see the tog down in the creek area, I've said to Kaz, we need to move around, we need to put effective fire on this thing. Um, the tog, yes, is a strong tank, but it's only strong because of how much health it actually gets. So if we can get down here, get some visual spotting on where he is, shoot him up, it gives us a bit more. Now I did bounce that first one into him. He's fired, his attention's on me, and he's been taken down. So pity I didn't get any shots on him. That would have been a juicy target to shoot up. But anyway, not to worry about it. There is still a KV-1, a KV-1S, no, a KV-1 down here that we do need to deal with. Um, he does impose a big threat. There's a Nash, an E25, VK36. They can deal with the Comet and the M6, in my opinion. Um, we need to get rid of this M5 short. He is... He's not a target you want to have staying around in the match. He's one that could get both of us killed. Um, and he's just being a little bit cheeky at the moment, and there's nothing much that Kaz and I can do to get him. Unless our own M5 goes down there and chases him basically. I did shoot then to try and blast a hole through the wall and get him but the shot didn't carry all the way through. There's a isn't that a cruiser? It is too. A crusader. Which is good. I've got some decent shots. I'm bouncing him. I've planted two good ones in. The M5 shoots running in there like an absolute moron. And this is what I don't get. Um, yes you're in a light tank. Yes you're doing potentially a good job but at the same time what are you doing? You're getting yourself killed. Don't waste your tank. Use your tank so we can make it stronger. Now, our TDs have fallen on the other flank there from the M6 and the Comet. They both have not even had to really hit this thing. And the 36, 
who knows what he's doing but he is getting shot to pieces we need to deal with these threats now oh. and, and this is where the battle sort of goes from good to bad in a matter of seconds um, there is an IS on the other flank um, it's sort of causing all kinds of different trouble um, but we've got a heavy tank and SU-100 back there their SU-100 has just appeared over there which makes things a little bit more interesting the IS is there Kaz and I are like yeah those guys should be able to deal with it we'll, we'll, we'll fix up what's left over here the M6 and the Comet ok I'll do peekaboo over the top of this hill swivel around a bit and plow one of the M6 pull back so he can't hit me pull up a bit closer shoot another one of him and I'm just loving this now this is how I, and then I bounce one great there's the Comet keep the Comet in and hang on a sec what is that SU-100 doing? what is everyone in the middle doing? what is going on? and Kaz and I sitting there going hang on a sec this is madness I've gone Kaz we've got to leave the Comet he is no longer prime target we have to take out these guys they're all wailing on the SU-100 which is beautiful I can't get shots on him so I'm just gonna open my engine up and same as Kaz and we're gonna fly across this field uh, no doubt that the um, the enemy I don't know what our SU-100 is doing driving away from that but hello like that is ridiculous and then of course the ELC stops behind the rock yeah that's not gonna help you I just keep the engine going and I keep going and going and going and then I see him fly over this hill plant one good one in it, ram him and just do the sacrifice that was the whole point then reset the cap and make it a sacrifice if I can sacrifice myself for that it makes all the difference and that's what I need to do I need to make the difference and making the difference is all that and that's smart play um, that is why you don't sacrifice your tanks like the M5 Stewart did, you wait till the opportunity to do it. Um, without me going over that hill and taking on that IS like that and basically sacrificing my tank in some ways, we would have probably lost this battle. So in the end that's the way it goes and just get over it. But that's how that goes. Look, hope you've, I hope you've enjoyed these ones. Um, enjoy what you do, enjoy your gaming. Um, so yeah, happy hunting, I'll catch you on those battlefields.